Solving for the point of intersection of two lines in 3D space can make you feel <coughs> But in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple way to get from here to here. Anytime you wanna know how two 3D lines intersect, it's always best to check to see if they are parallel first. Now, if we look at these two lines, and more specifically their direction vectors, we wanna to check to see if one of the direction vectors is a scalar multiple of the other. And we ask ourselves, is there some factor, we'll say k, that I can multiply by one of the direction vectors to produce the other? And in this case, well, no, no such k exists. No matter what I multiply this direction vector on the left by, I won't be able to produce the direction vector on the right. So these two lines can't be parallel. So if the lines aren't parallel, they could either have a single point of intersection or they could be skew. Spoiler alert, these lines are not skew as I'm going to cover that topic in another video. So let's check for a point of intersection by doing this. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite these monsters in parametric form. And if you weren't sure how to do that, check out this linked 15 second short that will walk you through that process super quick. Parametric equations are great because we can set them equal to each other. And when we do that, we're looking for the value of S and T that make the X, Y, Z equal. I'm from Canada, so I usually say Z, but I had to say Z because it rhymes with S and T. When X, Y, Z are equal, we have a point of intersection. So we've got each set of parametric equations set equal to each other. Next thing we'll do is clean them up a bit by bringing all S and T terms to the left side and anything without an S and T to the other. I'll label the resulting equations, equations one, two, and three, because we're about to start doing stuff with these new equations. Remember, our goal was to find values for S and T that made X, Y, and Z equal to each other. So let's do that next. I'm going to choose two equations at random, say equations two and three, and I'm going to form a linear system of two equations and two unknowns. This allows me to solve the system using elimination. Adding straight down cancels the S's out and allows me to solve for a value of T, which in this case is T equals two. So that's great, we have one of our parameters. To get the other one, we'll take T equals two and we'll sub it into either equation one, two, or three. Just for funsies, I'll pick equation two, I'll sub in T and I'll solve for S, getting S equals negative three. Now, in case there was any doubt that these are in fact the S and T that are gonna give us equal X, Y, Z's, take S and T and sub them into equation one, two, and three. And in each case, you'll see that the left-hand side is going to equal the right-hand side. If this didn't happen, you wouldn't have a point of intersection. So we have S and T, but how do we get the point of intersection? Well, let's pick S or T and sub it into either of our original lines. For example, the top line has S, so I'll sub S in there. And when I distribute and simplify, I end up with a point. So three, negative one, two is our point of intersection. And you'll see that you get the same thing if you take T and sub it into the other equation. So we've talked about parallel lines and we just found a point of intersection, but how can you tell whether two lines are skewed just by looking at their equations? For the answer to that question, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at this video right here and I will see you there. 